Hey guys, so two weeks ago I showed you how I created this cute little hairstyle that you guys been liking so much and today I'm going to show you how I gently remove her braids. So this is after one week, just one week. Um, this style, I didn't expect it to last that long, but now it is time to go ahead and take it out. So if you remember two weeks ago, I did tell you guys that I don't braid all the way to the ends. I twist it and that's because it makes it so much more easy for me to remove. So as you can see, I'm just gently removing a twist and just untwisting it. This does cut the time of me removing everything and I like to add a little bit of oil to my fingers. This gives me um, a little bit more slip and it also allows it to be a little more moisturized which causes it to be strong and not break. So I like to keep my hands moisturized during this whole process and as you see I keep adding onto it later. So now I'm just showing you guys how I remove the rubber band. I just I don't unravel it. I always cut my rubber bands out. I try to do it when she's not looking, but I did have to record this video. But um, once I cut the rubber band, I just gently remove the beads. Next, I'm adding the Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist. Now, the reason why I add this is because it also gives me slip. The moisturizing mist is not intended to be a detangler. However, that's how I use it as a detangler. It has glycerin and water as the main ingredient, so it does give it a good amount of slip. And unlike other detanglers, what I notice is that when you use a detangler, <laughs> it detangles and dries out later. The mist actually adds a lot of moisture. It keeps the moisture into the hair so you don't have to worry, worry about it knotting up or drying up as you are going along. So now that it has the oil and the mist, I have a lot of slip in her hair. So I'm just gently removing it with my fingers and I like to take my time with this process. Now, I do encourage you to only remove braids when you have patience um, because if you don't have any patience, you will go for the comb as quick as you can and that is just going to cause so much damage. So I like to just go in with my hands and as you can see, um, I'm just gently removing it. This is in real time and as I remove it, I like to finger detangle it as well. Now I do have two methods which I will show you guys. You guys know that um, I rarely use combs in her hair. And I'm going to show you how I use a comb without combing through her hair. So now I'm moving on to the next braid and I go ahead and add my oil and my mist once again. And I start to use my hands to take the braids out. I follow the direction of the braids and I just go ahead and gently unravel them. Now if I do come to a knot, I will use my fingers as much as possible to get rid of any knot. And if I absolutely have to, I'll use a comb. So I'm showing you guys how I use a comb without combing it. Now, I love this comb because it has the rat tail end and I don't have to use the comb. I just pretty much use the comb as if it was a finger. I put the comb through the hair and as you can see, using it this way does not cause any breakage. Now, if you were combing it, that would cause a lot of breakage. But I use the end of the comb and I just push it through the braid to unravel it. Next, I'm just removing any shed hairs and I continue to detangle with my hands and look for any knots that may need to be taken out. As you can see, her hair looks very healthy, very shiny, and I don't have any breakage taking it out like this. So moving on, now I'm taking out a much smaller braid. I won't use my hands at all. I'll continue to use my method of using the end of my rat tail comb to just glide it through and separate it. For small braids, I like to do this and I really like to take my time. As you can see, it doesn't hurt her at all. I'm not breaking the comb through her head and when I can, I do use my hands. Everything has been detangled. Um, I didn't have any tangles in her hair at all. 
And this is how we styled it the next day for her Halloween party. I went ahead and did a Doc McStuffins. Make sure you guys head to her channel. She does have a channel. And if you have a little one, make sure they subscribe. <laughs> and this is actually what her hair looks like today, a week later. She's been sick, so I don't want to wet her hair. So this is pretty much what it looks like. After a week of me keeping the same hairstyle, not combing it, all I'll do is add a little bit of the moisturizing mist and a little bit of the butter and I'll just glide it onto my hands and that is how we style it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and thanks for watching. Jumbo Goddess Twist. So I'm starting out with freshly blow dried hair. Um, this blow dried hair just works best for this hairstyle and I'm trying to protect it. 